Nope. Good luck. Bop. Bye-bye. <laughs> Good afternoon, Pokemon Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stim Regulation G video bringing you Ice Horse. We got Calyrex here, folks. Calyrex is back. And if you guys haven't seen Calyrex's stats in a long time, just know that they're absolutely stupid. They, Calyre Calyrex has one of the highest, or Calyrex Ice specifically, I guess, has one of the highest usable ba base stat totals of all time. Because typically when you have Pokemon that, you know, are high base stat totals. They might have a lot of special attack that they don't really use or a lot of physical attack that they don't really use. Calyrex has almost no special attack, has almost no speed, which essentially distributes all of the useful stats to the useful places. It's got disgustingly high HP, disgustingly high um, defense, base 150, disgustingly high attack, and pretty high, if not above average, special defense. Not just that, but also, with access to Clear Amulet, you can't get your stats lowered. Not just that, but with access to, what's it called? As one, you get a chilling May boost every single time you KO a Pokemon. Not just that, you have a base 100 spread Glacial Lance Ice move, which can Oko Flutters like it's nobody's business. Calyrex is gonna be good, whether it's Ice or whether it's Shadow. But I just finished recording today's video. And I think I'm convinced that I'm going to bring Calyrex Ice to, uh, to, to NAIC. Now, this team is from Crusadia. It is a Trick Room team. We're running for a giraffe on this team as our setter. But we also do have the secondary setter of Cresselia. We have the Rillaboom and the Instant, both for the fire and grass core, but also as double fake outers for for just helping us set our trick room that much better, that much easier, that much faster. We also have a Blurse on the team, kind of as our special attack trick room abuser. We have Calyrex and then Blurse. We have two very scary Pokemon that are very hard to get at zero IVs in speed, but somehow they're so stupid in trick room. And I'm excited to try it. Leave a like button down below if you think there should be a rusty bottle cap. Leave a like button down below for the Calyrex Ice. And if you guys are excited to see what Calyrex is going to do in today's video, hit the like button again. Three times. You're going to like, unlike, and like again. <laughs> and subscribe to Pokemon Sports if you haven't done so already. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. Panned over here with the Chili Reception Sloking. I see you, big dog. I see you, big panda. Also... Kiram White is here. I don't fear that team too much because they have grass type, dragon type, dragon type. No resistances to ice. Listen, Calyrex is going to have a good old time. That's for sure. They're are they a trick room team? I highly doubt. If they are, why? Tell you what, I am not going to lead Ensign because they do have Defiant on their Ogre Pond. But what I will do... I'll lead Ferrigiraf and Calyrex Ice. They have no Intimidate on their side of the field, which means I have nothing to be afraid of. I'll bring the Blurse in the back. Instant in the far back, calling it there. Let's do it. I'm excited. I have no reason to bring the Cresselia because they have no fake out on their side of the field. If they didn't have fake out on their side of the field, I might consider Cresselia. I do feel like the Cresselia and the Ferrigiraf kind of do the same thing, but Cresselia is tankier. We'll get that Trick Room up. If you really desperately need the Trick Room up, Cresselia will get it up for you. All right, Panda. Panda with the flippy hair. Going slow, King, and cure him right away. I respect. I definitely respect. They could have Fusion Flare, so I will be Terrastalized my Calyrex. Yeah, I think I'm just trick rooming. Do I swords dance? Do I poison tear a swords dance and get super greedy? Yeah. I don't want to get fusion flared right away. Not a big fan of fusion flare. I think that's what I might have to do. I don't mind Poison Terror though. 
It's fine. It even deals with the Flutter main pretty well. Very well, actually. Flutter main can't touch. All right, look at my little tiny skull and crossbones. Oh, it's so little. That's so cute. Noble what? Thank God. Yawn. Dang it. What has happened? It went from Noble Roar and then Yawn. I'm interested. I wonder. I don't want to switch out of my plus two, though. I might just stay in and get Yawned. They're going to double protect, that's for sure. But I'm going to, just in case they don't, I'm going to Helping Hand boost and I'm going to Glacial Lands. I'm going to see what happens. If they double protect, fine. It's going to suck. But the only reason I don't want to switch here is because if they undo my Trick Room... I'm not in a great spot. Alright, there's a helping hand. Will there be any protects? No! Good luck! Bop! Bye bye! <laughs> what are you doing, Tom? I don't even care. I'm going to bed. I'm plus four Calyrex now. <laughs> you know what? After that, you deserve a rest. You definitely deserve a rest. Holy, not a single protect in sight. Helping hand Glacial Lance double K. <laughs> oh, Urshi's here. Okay. All right, fun's over. Urshi's here. Also, it's Raging Bolt. I gotta wake up, huh? Oh, and I don't have Dazzling Gleam on this one. All right. I'm gonna bring in the Ensign. And I'm going to keep trying to wake. I got no other choice. <laughs> Let me try to just hit another Glacial Lance. They got to start hitting my Calyrex, though. I might have been safe in that slot. I probably would have kept in the Fridge Raft if I had Dazzling Gleam and just gone for Dazzling Gleam because they're going to focus all their fire on my Calyrex right now. They have to. If they allow me to attack, I will win. <laughs> all right, there's my mandatory sleep turn. Yep, they got to just throw attacks at this. They got no other choice. But they choose not to. Okay, fine. You do you. I'm going to fake out the Urshna. now. And I'm going to keep trying to wake here. This is why we brought in the instant. So we have this fake out turn. Unless they're, or they're Covert Cloak or Urshifu, we're fine. Game's still not over. It's pretty darn close, though. A thunderclap might hurt me, but I think I still live a thunderclap. The worst thing that could happen is if I don't wake this turn. Because then if they like double priority move me next turn, I actually might might lose my Calyrex eyes. Okay, they're detecting. They know. They know they're, they're issues a target. Fair enough. They don't want to risk me waking. Oh, but the fact they didn't protect with the Raging Bolt means they're most likely... I'm still asleep, dang it. They're most likely Assault Vested. Oh, they're depulsing my instant now. I disagree with that. You have to attack this Calyrex. Every turn you don't. Something bad might happen. All right, let's go for a simple Flare Blitz. And a simple Glacial Lance at plus four. Three turns of sleep is possible, but very unlikely. And we are currently in the third turn to sleep. So assuming I leave everything here, we're waking, baby. Good luck! Bop! Bye-bye! <laughs> oh. Never mind. Urshifu's got a little fight in him. <laughs> I was going to say Calyrex Ice taking every single KO this battle, but no. Instant helped? <laughs> Dude. Talk about a Calyrex Ice Showcase. What a bet. There's no better way to start a video. We made pandas go extinct. GG's. Ozkiller with the Azumarill. Okay, we got a lot of Gen 1 representation here on this team, folks. And, you know... By a lot, I mean three. 
Definitely a trick room game if I've ever seen one. Triple water types. Yeah, Rilla? <laughs> For sure. Gonna be somewhere in this battle. I have no idea where, but I want to bring Rilla. They do have ways around it with the Charizard, though. And I definitely want Frigiraf in the back. In fact, I might want Frigiraf in the front. Let's leave for Ridge. I like for Ridge and Calyrex. It worked last time. So I'm going to go for it again this time. Bring the Rill in the back, and then it's a matter of what Pokemon I want in the far back. Triple Water types is a little bit scary for Ensign, but it's also a little bit scary for Ursaluna unless I commit to the Poison Terra here. Not the Poison Terra, the, uh, the normal Terra. Could also just go Crest, Lunar Blessing, Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam would be good. But it's fine, we'll go Blurs. I like me a Blurs here. Very interesting team. It looks like a lot of fan favorites all on the same team though. So you got your Blastoise, you got your Charlie, you got your Dragonite, you have your Coridon. It's a lot of fan favorites here. Oh! Oh, they sure are. <laughs> Double water type is gonna be their lead. At least we know they're probably EV'd. Double water types is actually a little threatening for me. But at the same time, how do they stop my swords dance right now? I think they don't. So I'm gonna go for it. Granted, if they want a Terra Water Spout, I'm probably dead. But I didn't consider that until I just took a look at you know, the Blastoise in the face. So they just have a team of the coolest shinies. That's what they're going for here. I respect it. I'm generally curious what a plus two is gonna do. Mudshot. Body press. Those sure are choices. Um, I know it's resisted. Something tells me it doesn't matter. I have a feeling it doesn't matter. Will I be proven wrong? Terrestrializing, okay. Turn two Terras. It's the Stoice! It's a light bulb! Alright! You now no longer resist this! You tried! Okay! What did we learn today? <laughs> I'm a strong horse now! <laughs> and they got two turns left in this trick room to make something. Yo, they got it from like four different websites. <laughs> oh no, this one they got on their own, okay. This one came with the game. <laughs> All right, best of luck, Tom, with whatever you're going for here. They do have a solar power in the sun, and I am an ice type. I could terrestrialize. I won't, because I don't think it matters. Plus four, Glacial Lance, and goodbye. <laughs> Woo, all right. <laughs> What can I say about that battle? We killed the Oz Killer. On to the next. Silverwing out here with the expanding force Mewtwo. I see you, Silverwing. I see you. I don't love it. Uh, I definitely don't love it. I definitely won't be clicking Poison Terra this game. And unfortunately, they can technically stop my Trick Room. 
by in prison trickering or just doing otherwise. Okay, I think we're on NC here though. I'm going to NC because NTC does very well against the majority of that team. Also does really well against side spam. I'm gonna bring Rilla in the back so I can turn off that terrain. And I can still use Rilla against a lot of their Pokemon. And we're doing horse in the back. Let's do it. Leaving the blurs behind. Which is not super ideal, but I really want to try to limit how much trick room I have on this team because it's not a guarantee that I get it up this game. And Blurus kind of needs Trick Room to be a Pokemon. Rilla doesn't. Incin doesn't. Calyrex kind of does, but hey, well, we're going to ignore that fact for now because I don't really have a choice. Either I bring Calyrex or I bring Cresselia and do no damage. Let's realize Cresselia and Crusadia sound very different, and Crusadia is the creator of the team. Coincidence? I think maybe. <laughs> All right. What do they got? Silver wing? Where's your silver wing? You better have silver hair in this battle. Missed opportunity. Okay. This is fine, right? I just try to trick them and set U-turn. They're probably gonna try to knock me off. Do I burn Terra on Fridge? Could also try to knock them off. I think I will. Actually, did they have Psychic Seed? No, they don't have a special defense race. Okay. I will knock them off. I think I will Grass Terra. Actually, what if I... gonna hit protect first before making a decision i want to see what they're gonna do before i do what i'm gonna do do they have in prison or are they just gonna trick him for me they have in prison okay so it's a good thing i didn't waste my time now my goal here has to be to eliminate indeedy from the game as fast as i can all right at least we got rid of rocky helmet here follow my knockoff thanks we get to keep our stuff all right we're still gonna get trick him up one way or another i have faith because now we're going to switch on over to Flare Blitz. Grass Terra. And Helping Hand that Flare Blitz. All right, whatever's coming in is taking a Helping Hand boosted Grass Terra Flare Blitz. They probably forgot that the second they switch out, I get to Trick Room again. So best of luck. The second they switch out, I can do it all over again. We'll see how this plays out. I probably should have held the Grass Terror here, but oh well. This will help me from the knockoff. I am intimidated, but this still should hurt some. Yeah, half HP. And then there's a knockoff. Okay. A Flare Blitz might uh, do me in. But I think I'm going to go for the parting shot onto the Ensign and then just click Protector. Oh, they're just going to knock on my Ensign. All right. That's fine, too. Didn't expect them to do all that. Unless they're going for... No, because I'm Grass Terra. I can now Rillaboom them, though. This is what I meant. I'm not hard committing to the trick room. I haven't been able to yet. I will be losing my instant this turn, though. All right, bye, instant. Does that mean they're just going for a flare blitz? Yeah, okay. They're intimidated, though. I don't. Will flare blitz be enough? Let me go, Rilla. I have a fake out turn now. But I think I'm gonna U-turn out, expect them to go for a protect, 
on that ogre pond slot and swap out the ensign. I'm gonna go for a trick room though. Okay, I got the swap out wrong. They switched the Ndidi back in, but if I can get this trick room up, we are golden. That means I get my Calyrex in, and then it's time to game, folks. Okay. Got him with that U-turn. I hope I didn't bait them onto a Flare Blitz into that Rilla spot, though. Let me go in the Calyrex. Because if I did, I'm going to take a lot of damage on this Calyrex. I might prefer that, though. All right, no berries for you. Uh, do we take it? We take it with HP to spare, baby. Beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Trick room's up. Best of luck. I might greed. But nah, Glacial Lance. And help thy hand. Good luck. Woo! Weren't able to stop my trick room forever. They're going to swap out the NDD. All right. Whatever's coming in has to take a glacial lance to the face. Good luck! Best of luck to you, pal. I don't think you want to take it. I really don't think you want to take this, Mewtwo. This is what eight generations of power creep will do. Glacial lance, bop. Almost bye-bye. They definitely didn't want to take it. All right, we're going to lose our clear amulet. That kind of sucks because the instant can intimidate spam us now. But you try to find me something right now that wants to swap into this glacial lance. Nothing. Probably the ogre pond, but otherwise nothing. I'm going to get my health back through KOs alone. They got to do a lot of swaps to have some kind of chance and help here. Mewtwo's protecting? Probably. Yep, as they should. Which means the instant's probably swapping back in, but the second the instant swaps back in, we get our, our Glacial Lance boost back. That still knocks out Ogre. That is nuts. <laughs> Listen, we were able to play the swap in VGC game. It's not our first time playing Trick Room. We know when there's an imprisoned Trick Room. We just know. Incense back. You still can't fake me out. You can't intimidate me though. But what HP do you got left? You got nothing left. Helping hand, glacial lance. Over and over and over again. They brought me back down to neutral is what they did, so that's fine. I think I was doing about that much damage neutrally. Calyrex Ice is such a threat, man, in the current meta. I think this is probably what I'm bringing to NA, I see. I love this Pokemon way too much. I'm having, Crusadia, I'm having the time of my life right now. I want you to know that. It's all because of you. It's all because you submitted this team in Pokesports. All right. Best of luck. Good luck, Tumu. They go for the double. They don't get it. Respect, though. It was their win condition. They needed that double. Oh, the instant. It lives. Okay, that means I might have to take a Flare Blitz to the face, which wouldn't be ideal. But if I am taking a Flare Blitz to the face, their instant is going down. And that means they only have a... Ah! One HP, baby! <laughs> oh, it's a forfeit. <laughs> That's a forfeit now. The horse will not go down. The horse will remain. And Silver Wing... You have a singular Ndidi left with one turn of Trick Room left. Yo, that pressure. Look how much that pressure was digging into my PP, though. I only have two left. Jeez. All right, we help a hand. We Glacial Lance. GG's. Battle is canceled. Woo! All right. That was a sweaty one. I got to air out the pits, but it was a fun one. On to the next. Hold the phone. There's a ditto. And a Groudon on the same team. That's right. Silver Chrono out here wants to play GS Cup without me reciprocating. Listen, I respect it. I, I do. I really do. All right. I'm going to go for a giraffe. 
And thankfully, they have a lot of things on their team weak to ice. And not a lot of things that resist it. In fact, zero things that resist it unless they terrestrialize. Kind of makes this a real easy turn for me. I'm going to go with my Calyrex. I'm going to go with for a Giraffe when it's set up. Actually... How fast is this Rilla? 105 speed, okay. I'm actually gonna go Ensign. Cause they don't like Intimidate. I'm gonna go Ensign lead, go for the party shot turn one, go into my Calyrex turn two, and then... Is this a late game Rilla game? Nah, Blurs. We Blurs here, baby. Rilla got to shine in the last one. It's time to Blurs. Blurs deserves a little bit more of a showcase. Now, the one thing that could go horribly wrong is in Prison Trick Room from that whim. That would be, in fact, awful. Right on the Galar Champion and Ogre Pond gonna lead for them, though. This is the best Intimidate ever. I'm glad I, I led with with NC here. Okay, never mind. Clear amulet on Groudon. Well, at this point, I'm gonna click Trick Room, and I'm gonna parting shot their Ogre Pun. Nah, cause then I take a double, a double hit here. Maybe I'm just gonna go into the Groudon with the fake out here. Yeah, cause they're gonna terrestrialize. Try to get their plus one back. Try to use the power of the sun against me. Huh. Maybe I should have faked that one out. That would have been a better idea? I don't know. This might actually kill me. Hold on. I might have thrown. I think I chose the wrong fake out target. Wish me luck! Okay! I'm in a little bit of trouble. Because <laughs> I don't have Trick Room on this one. Okay, let's go, Blurse, I guess. <laughs> this is bad. Hold on. This is how it could go wrong real quick. I chose the wrong target with that fake out. I knew I needed to fake out. Apparently, I just didn't know which. I'm going to protect and party shot this Ogre Pond. Try to get this instant out of here. Maybe even go for some more Intimidate spans if I can. Spams if I can. But like, currently, I don't even know how I'm getting rid of this, uh... Groudon. Alright, they go for the P-Blades. Do they connect, though? They do. Oh god, oh god, oh no. Oh bad, this is bad. Instant lives, okay. We hang on, hardly. But hang on, nevertheless. I might... I don't know, man. I really need a Trick Room to win this game. I might go into Calyrex. I should be able to live a Pea Blades. I don't know if I live a Fire Punch in the sun. But now let me go for the Earth Power onto the Ogre. And I'm just going to protect Calyrex this turn. We real Because I think they, they think I have Trick Room. They probably think that I have Trick Room. They have to focus down that slot. All right. This might be a pretty free turn. Might be a free KO here. They go for the P-Blades again. I wonder if that means that they don't have anything else to go for. Oh, that's a crit too. Ouch. All right, Earth Power. Ogre Pond's gone. That's one one thing down. Oh God. And I have lost so much HP on my side of the field. But that's a big thing down. That's their fire Pokemon down. Like that's their big scary fire threat. It's gone now. That's that's not the end of the world. Fluttermane though. Oh God. Guys, I know this is gonna look stupid.
But I think there's no... It's like either I... I have to poison Terra because I, there's no way I live with Shadow Ball plus P Blades. But P Blades can miss. And I think I have a higher chance of living P Blades than I do a Shadow Ball from a Flutter Man because Calyrex has base 150 defense. So this is honestly the only thing I think I have going for me. Is a Poison Terra Glacial Lance and then protect with my Blurs. I'm gonna try. Hopefully they go for a Dazzling Gleam. Because then I'll resist it. That should help me a little bit, but I need them to miss a P-Blades here. There's my Protect. There's no point of instant swapping either. Oh, dang. They did just Dazzling Gleam. I might have not needed the Terra. Thankfully, that does absolutely no damage. Missed the P-Blades. Missed the P-Blades. Missed the P-Blades. Missed the P-Blades? Dang it! Live it, live it, live it, live it, live it, live it! Yeah! 24! Glacial Lance! Come on! Cut! Ooh, Groudon lives. Okay. Whew! How does Groudon live? That is bonkers. Oh my goodness. Now I have to face a uh, now I have to face a blurs. It might be game. <laughs> I'm gonna have to sack off my blurs here. Protect. Get my Ensign back on the field so I have a fake out turn. And then that might be my uh, maybe only chance. Missing people it's here would be huge too. Nah, they never miss, man. That's fine. Oh! Living would be better! Oh, they have Hyper Voice. Obviously, they have Hyper Voice, but obviously, they're also faster. Because they probably have some speed investment there. I gotta play to the P-Blades miss again. So, I'm gonna have to come in here. I'm gonna have to come in here. I'm gonna have to bring in my Instant. I'm gonna have to... I think they might just be banded onto P-Blades at this point. Because they've only ever done P-Blades. I have to fake out the Blurst, and I need them to miss P-Blades on specifically my Calyrex. That's it. That's all. That's my win condition. Wish me luck. Do they miss? On the instant! Dang it! <laughs> uh, listen, we tried. They did miss. They did miss eventually. On the wrong one, though. <laughs> it was the one that didn't matter. Oh, well. Listen, man. If they miss that on Calyrex, I think we just win that game. I, I honestly legitimately think we just win that game. Uh, P-Blades connecting again. Doesn't even matter. Fine, Groudon. I've never seen a Groudon hit so many P-Blades in my life. Out of, like, the 20 it went for, it missed one. That is actually crazy fun game though silver chrono gonna take home a loss in today's video unfortunately very unfortunate turn one for us we almost clawed our way back though and i think that's what's relevant that even though we had such a bad start we were literally a 15 percent chance away from winning that's not too shabby that's pretty darn good i'll take what i can get Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button on your way out. Also, thank you so much to Crusader for going ahead and posting his team on the Boogie Sports Discord. If you want to go ahead and post your teams on the Discord for Regulation G, join the Discord to do so, to do so, to do so at Pokesports.info. Along with our merch store, get an emblem shirt, get a Moon Bear hat, check out our Patreon, check out our memberships on YouTube. Have yourselves a fabulous rest of your day. I'm Kevin's Pokesports. Peace out and bye-bye.